One of the questions that engages inquiring and profound minds is why the world was created. Was it possible that nothing was created? Is there a creator at all, or did everything come into being from nothing at once and return to nothing? Many answers can be found among philosophers, spiritual masters, and religions. But science has always been silent about this in these years. Until the last 50 years, with the development of atomic physics and quantum mechanics, bizarre and unbelievable answers were given to these questions. Join us as we examine one of the most mysterious experiments in the history of science in this video. In the Hidden Secret Channel, we look deep into everything. We bring out questions that most of us ask ourselves in our lonely times, and maybe we don't have answers. We started a journey here to find answers to our questions. If you also want to join us on this informative journey, please subscribe to Hidden Secrets channel and press the bell icon. Strange results are obtained from quantum physics. Just looking at something changes that thing. This phenomenon is called the observer effect. This is a subject that has puzzled scientists for years, and every explanation that has been made of this phenomenon so far is an unproven theory. But what is the effect of the observer in quantum mechanics? Quantum mechanics is the study of particles and their interactions on the scale of particles smaller than atoms. A world full of wonder and questions. One of the most well-known concepts in quantum mechanics is the knot observation effect. This effect shows that the act of observing a subatomic particle can change the behavior of that particle. To understand this, let's consider the famous two-slit experiment. When an electron beam is fired at a plate with two slits on it, it creates an interference pattern. Now, if an observer is observing this experiment and wants to check which one of these two slits the electron passes through, guess what happens? The interference pattern disappears and the electrons behave like particles instead of waves. In the sense that only the presence of the observer and his measurement changed the behavior of the electrons. The act of observation destroys the wave function of the particles, and they are forced to behave in a certain way. Isn't it extraordinary? So, what does this have to do with God and the creator of the universe? What results can be obtained from this experiment? What does it mean? The observer's work raised interesting philosophical and theological questions about the nature of reality as well as the existence of a creator. The topics discussed in scientific societies for many years are among the hot and controversial issues that are followed in the philosophy of physics and mathematics. So what's the story? Some quantum physicists have used the results of the observer effect as an argument for the existence of God. They, along with some philosophers and theologians, believe that the act of observation requires the presence of consciousness, and consciousness requires the presence of a conscious observer. Therefore, the observer effect indicates that there is a conscious observer who is known as God. God, as a creator, shapes its phenomena by observing the world of creation. According to these, can the famous verses of the Quran and the Holy Bible, which are about God's creation of the world, be related to the effect of the observer? Wonderful originator of the heavens and the earth, and when he decrees an affair, he only says to it, Be, so there it is. In fact, in this view, the act of observation is considered a witness to the existence of God, a world that is not separated from its creator. The observer effect shows that the world is not a collection of separate objects, but a single, interconnected whole. A knowledgeable observer is necessary to explain this connection. 
modern science has no explanation for this argument, and it seems that philosophy, metaphysics, and religion should be used to justify it. But it is not always the same. The observer effect has also been used to challenge the concept of God. Some argue that the observer effect undermines the idea of God's existence. They believe that the observer effect shows that the observer creates reality and that there is no objective reality beyond human understanding. In this view, the observer effect shows that the world is not a fixed and objective reality but a subjective reality. A mental reality that is created by human observation. This means it becomes impossible to imagine a supreme God outside of human perception. This argument supports modern philosophical and scientific positions, from positivism to constructivism. But is it so? Is man the only observation that caused the formation of the world? If so, how was the world formed and changed when there were no humans? However, the issue that is hidden from the view of these philosophers is that God as a being is not separate from his creation. In the sense that all of us humans, as observers, are a part of God, and maybe this is the secret that made us the best of creatures and gave us the power of will and free will. That is, we have a godlike quality that only by looking at the world and observing the phenomena can we shape them and change them forever. Can this ability and the observer effect change the world in a form that all humans expect? Now, how is the story for a person who uses both the effect of the observer, that is, the power of imagination and will, and who brings these ideas to the physical level with effort and turns them into action? In this video, we talked about one of the most impressive experiments in the history of science. We examined the results obtained from this experiment to prove God's providence and his will in creation. We saw that the conclusion of this experiment depends on our interpretation, and we have to change our lens to understand it better.